stupid afternoon. It's a beautiful, cloudy, windy day today. Hope you're staying hydrated. Today we are at Otter Creek Forest Preserve in Elgin, Illinois. All the locations where I shoot my videos, the addresses are in the description below if you'd ever like to visit for yourself. Today's message is life is full of distractions. This message pairs well with my last video, which went over eliminating distractions to learn your answers. And the best place for me to do that is while I'm in nature. And while you don't have to come out to nature to free yourself from life's distractions, I find it to be one of the most peaceful places to be to achieve that. Let me know down in the comments where you go to relax and unwind. It's funny because I can see people, myself included, using technology to actually distract them or us from their real world distractions, if that makes any sense. I can definitely say that I'm guilty of this myself. We have created our own worlds within technology. What else can you think of? Your job or career, school, relationships, your health and wellness. So many more distractions that we have in our lives that we know what to do with even. And what do distractions take away from you? What do they take away from your daily life and the way you live it? When you're distracted, it's hard to keep yourself focused. That can either keep you from doing something or just keep your mind occupied or fixated on that thing. It makes things you're doing just that much more difficult to accomplish and could potentially just waste valuable time. As everyone knows, our time in this world is so limited and we truly never know how much time we have left. If we experience some sort of trauma or scare, it can really put our lives into perspective and give us a chance to step back, think about ourselves, and think about what we're really doing in our lives. What's important and what isn't? What can we let go of? And what is just an ultimate waste of time? There's the sun. And sometimes, unfortunately, it takes that big event to change our minds and to get us thinking about things. Sometimes that event is the only thing that can change our thinking. As unfortunate as that sounds, for some of us, it's the truth. Although distractions likely can never truly be eliminated from our lives, if we can recognize them on our own, we can try to minimize the impact that they are having on our lives. Solutions such as moderation if your distractions are habit-based, learning to put your phone down and take your eyes away from the screen, trying to find alternatives that benefit you and hopefully benefit the world around you. If it's events from the past that are eating away from you, the obvious solution is letting go and moving on. Depending on what you're going through, this is so much easier said than done. There is no reset button in life, but if you can recognize and acknowledge what's truly distracting you, then you can take steps, make changes to make your life the best that it can be. I'd like to think if you can strengthen your mind on a consistent basis, you can truly get over anything. A lot of the things that are holding you back are right up in here. It is up to you to get your mind and body to the place you want it to be. And although others can help you, it is your journey and your pathways decide your future. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this lesson was impactful and can help you to get to the places you want to be in life. Let me know where I should visit next down in the comments. My name is Jake Fox. This is Walk, Talk, Bike, and Hike, and I will see you in the next adventure.